I was dating my ex-boyfriend for roughly three years. Um, our relationship was really good at the start um, until he cheated on me. Um, the girl that he cheated on me with was addicted to ice. I guess tried it and got addicted to it, um, which then led to him being very abusive emotionally, mentally, um, to some extent physically, but then once I ended things with him for good, um, that's when he really turned into a narcissist and started um, using all photos that he has of me, videos that he had of me um, against me and creating multiple fake accounts online. Yeah, so they started off um, through just text messaging through me and my friends um, and somehow he would get numbers of guys that I had previously had um, associations with and would start messaging them naked photos of me, naked videos of me um, and then that um, really accentuated and went onto social media so he started creating multiple Facebook accounts, multiple Instagram accounts. Um, Craigslist accounts, Snapchat accounts, anything he could do and create to sort of defame me and make me look to be a really bad person. Obviously reaching me, that means that they reached my family because I needed support of them. Um, it also reached um, my boss um, at two different works. One, the main one is I just went for a job interview and this boss got a fake profile um, adding him on Facebook and then within that fake profile he's, that person started messaging my boss and with all of um, my naked photos and videos asking do you really want this person to work for your company. Um, so within a week of me breaking up with him I went to the police station with all these um, complaints of um, abuse and um, harassment that I had been receiving. Um, they said there's nothing much right then that they could do because they can't prove that the accounts were made by my ex-boyfriend. Um, and I guess with social media, you know, it's the accounts are created and deleted so quickly. Um, so it took me about three weeks to then get the my um, detective that was in charge of the case to actually say, okay, you've actually got a fair case now, you need to go um, to the county court and get a restraining order. Um, so I managed to get that three weeks after I broke up with him. Um, so that restraining order got granted. Um, he did come to court um, and pretty much said that it was everything was made up, somebody was targeting him, um, that he would never do that to me, etc, etc. Um, and then within four months of him having that restraining order, he breached it and got arrested and went to jail. Um, mentally, it's affected me because I can't look at another male without thinking about what my ex did to me. Emotionally, I can't form attachments with males anymore. There's just something there, like I try to break it down, but I just can't get through it. Um, I'm fine with a lot of females, like building relationships with them, but males, it's just like, I, I can't even look at them. I can't even really be friends with them because it's what has happened has taken such a toll on me. And yeah, it, it just got to a point where I was almost at almost at breaking point thinking what does my ex need to do to me before the police can arrest him and it was just getting way too much. So I'm studying to be a teacher, um, I'm still, even though the police have assured me that all of my ex's devices did get seized from him when he got arrested and put into jail, with media as soon as something is uploaded it's not necessarily ever going to be deleted because I'm six months away from graduating I'll be going for job interviews and with the profession that I've chosen, if I, if my future employee was, say for example, to Google my name, I'm really afraid that um, those things would come up. When you're, when somebody is addicted to ice, you get a fixation, and for him, that fixation was me, and in his mind, he was set out to ruin me. So, um, look, I understand in the day and age that we're in now, um, it's a very popular thing, especially for young girls to do. At the end of the day, if you're going to do it, just be very, very careful. I wouldn't put your face in it or anything that can, um, that other people would be able to recognise you from, like, you know, say photos in your bedroom. I would just not do it. It's not worth it. Probably the worst part was 
in my mind, I thought I was going to marry him and have children with him. And for somebody that you have invested so much time into, um, like a three-year relationship, that's not just a fling, it's something that is permanent. Um, and for somebody that I loved and shared so much with for so long to betray me, it just completely ruined me. And I think that was that was more so what got to me than the photos and the videos being spread around. It was that somebody that I've shared so much of my life with could just with a flick of like a flick of a switch could absolutely ruin me. Thank you.